Fuck a bag, I need a bank, bitch. Fuck a bag, I need a bank, bitch. All right, what it is, folks? Welcome back again. We're here with the realest, most entertaining sports show in the game. Put it on some. Got my young boy, Bobby Lee Anderson over here. My brother, JoJo. And you already know what it is. Man, we want to talk about the Madden Ravens. Madden is a staple in our culture. Everybody waits on the Madden game to come out. Remember in college, we used to be on Madden, the college football. Y'all got to bring college football back, by the way. That's another yeah. topic. But everybody wait on that Madden to come out. So a lot of folks were waiting on these ratings to see where these guys are ranking. Because where your Madden rating is really kind of states where folks see you as a player in the league. And I'm telling y'all right now, I got some goddamn smoke, y'all. I got some smoke. The disrespect for my quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, needs to stop. <laughs> EA Sports, you have a great reputation. I've spent good money with y'all. You have no business being disrespectful like this. Take a look at this now. These boys over here got Aaron Rodgers ranked a damn 90. A 90. That don't sound fair. Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers! Your boy Stephen A. Spill called him a what? Bad man. No, nah, he don't say it like that. He's a bad man. He say that for a reason. And they got my boy ranked as a 90. Damn man, in the 80s, bro. Why? Give him a 90, 95. He should be a, he should be over Brady. They got Brady at 96. That's right. That's right. At 47 years old, right. Brady is a 96. They saying Brady is the second best quarterback in the league still. Do we agree with that? That Brady still is the second best quarterback in the league? No. Second best the first. <laughs> so this. On what grounds that Brady is the best quarterback in the NFL? He's better than Aaron Rodgers. No, you say he's the best. So he better than everybody in your book. Why is he the best quarterback? He's the best quarterback. Everything he did, but came. I uh, watched this show yesterday. They were playing. They um, who they were playing? The Rams. And they uh, were picking on the star Brady or this other guy. They started Brady and uh, Belichick did this great plan. They won the ship. You just said the key ingredient, Belichick. I'm saying Belichick. Belichick can't play for them. Belichick put them boys in position. This football, and, football, and, different than basketball. And Brady put their, the ball in their hands. See, he just pit, he just trying to fuck with me on that. <laughs> That's what he's trying to do. Joe, you know football. He don't know about no football. Talk right. to me, Joe. Okay. D don't. Let's, let's talk about Aaron Rodgers. Okay. Let me ask this question. I got a feeling that you ain't going to say something that do I like, they, though, Joe. Do they factor in injuries? Yes, they do. They do factor in injuries to the Madden rate. Okay. They do. Now we do know Aaron. All right. Hell of a point. Okay. Hell of a point. And Drew Luck is rated high in the Aaron Rodgers, and we already know Andrew Luck stay dinged up. You got a point. Okay. So let me ask this question. Is this based off this past year? That play is kind of yeah, much Luck played before a year. He played the full year, but I right, so Aaron Rodgers once upon a time was a 98 in the damn game. Right. Shit, maybe a 99. Okay. We're gonna drop him all the way down to a 90? I don't think he should be a 90. They got his awareness a 91. So they're saying that he's not as smart a quarterback as Russell Wilson, who got a 93 in awareness. Awareness, excuse me. Andrew Luck a 96. Drew Brees a 97. Phillip Rivers a goddamn 98. Patrick Mahomes, they say that the Patrick Mahomes, who that was his first year as a starter, is a smarter, more aware quarterback than Aaron Rodgers. They got him right as 92 awareness. They going off the year before, though. Joe! They, they pretty smart. Think about the year that man had. Andy! You know Andy, man. You've been watching Andy put guys in position he, forever. You're right, because he had Alex Smith. Look at Pro Bowl. Thank you! You right. You afford this Mr. 49er right you here. Right. So you, you remember right. Alex? I wouldn't have Rodgers at a 90. I would probably have him at probably about 93, 94. 
So if, now, if you did that, that would put him over Drew Brees and Andrew Luck. Do you have Aaron? Where do you have Aaron? Is he a top five quarterback in your book? Because it's a publication. Who was who who some Bucky Brooks or some son bitch that came out <laughs> and said that Aaron Rodgers ain't even a top five quarterback? Okay, no, nah, I don't agree. That just dropped the other day. Nah, nah, I, I don't agree. I think he's top five. No, that what they can't say. He's not even a top five quarterback. Don't think he's a bitch. Right? Say he's, he's completely top. overrated. Nah, nah. I, I disagree with that. He's definitely a top five. Okay. I don't think he's the best anymore. Who you got on? Are you going with the young, the young lightning, my home boy, as your boy Shannon would say? I'm going with Pat Mahomes, man. What that boy did. Like, if you think, I'm going to tell you, Mahomes remind me of a young Aaron Rodgers. He does. I ain't going to cap. Okay. I'm going to be 100. I ain't going to cap. Because okay. the boy, he get outside the pocket. He ain't still slaying that thing. In the pocket, we know he's throwing that thing deep to Tyree. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he makes those plays out of nowhere, like the left hand thing. I like it. Don't be surprised if he throws a behind the back pass this year. But one year, JoJo. We, we getting real hype now, all one year of greatness. That's true. Prison of the moment, it could be. Yes. Could be. But I think the boy the real deal, man. He the real deal. He got the right coach. He does. And, and the, got coach, the coach don't let him throw. And he got the weapons. He, he definitely. This he, man got weapons now. He, he does. But do we factor that into this? Like they got, okay, your top quarterbacks are Mahomes. We just said the weapons okay. and the coach. Brady got the GOAT coach. Phillip Rivers. Why in the hell is Phillip Rivers ranked the third best quarterback? I just, Rivers ain't number one shit. <laughs> Everybody was hyping them going into the playoffs last year. <laughs> they beat uh, uh, the Ravens with, okay, the Ravens basically had a running back playing quarterback because that man wasn't even throwing the ball for real, for real like that. Then they ran into uh, the Patriots. And got drugged. Got drugged. Got drugged, okay. But Philip Rivers, he ain't, what has he done, y'all? Why the, they folk ain't really just love that man. All right, Drew Brees is next. I think he should be ready over him. To the river. Saints fans gonna get mad at me. What, Brees? Yeah. Cause they keep throwing salt my boy away. Okay. I know my they go, Aaron Rodgers only got one Super Bowl appearance. How many Super Bowl appearances Drew Brees got? One. The same. Why he don't get the smoke? He don't get the smoke. He done had Sean Payton. And he cheated them, though. Who? Oh, you know, oh, here you go with that. And he cheated them. Here you go with you gotta, that. You got to let that go. They got to let, let that, that go, go, man. And the only reason I say that is because they went, they went to overtime. So you still had a chance. And they done went too far, y'all. They got a loss. Yeah, they, <laughs> they got a loss there soon. You know what? I'm going back and I'm suing the league over Jerry Rice. Fumbling that ball, it's the T.O. game. Hold on, we in the game. Yes, yes. When T.O. caught the ball from Steve Young with the crying. With the crying, that was a hell of a catch. Okay. But before that, uh -huh. Jerry fumbled that ball, but it was no instant replay. You talking about Jerry Rice? Jerry, the GOAT. The greatest receiver of all time. He made it. I have never seen Jerry drop a ball or fumble in my life. Before this, that 49 <laughs> shit. Maybe the greatest <laughs> football player, period. Maybe. He fumbled that day. His name is I need pain and suffering. I need five million dollars. Mm -hmm. His name was down. Okay, I'm gonna give you another lawsuit. I'm gonna go back and sue for the fail Mary. Remember when they had the replacement uh, referees in? It was okay. a Monday night football game. Seattle. It was my Packers versus Seattle. Okay, I'll give you that. I don't like Seattle. No, oh, hold on. Roll with me. Okay. You tied me in that. Roll with me. We lost that game. That game ended up in the playoffs costing us home field advantage against y'all. So instead of being in Lambo, it was cold and it was snowing. We had to see y'all out there in San Francisco and it was beautiful weather. And that's the game where Cap huh. ran the damn near 200 yards on me. Right. You see how pain and suffering. <laughs> I'm suing in that case, I want $10 million. If, if we suing around here now, that was the same fan doing. Hold on, so. Y'all gonna face Cap? 
We face Cal, but I'm saying, if, let's say that fail Mary doesn't happen and okay. we, we win that game, we would have had home field advantage. So you saying he wouldn't have rushed for 200? No. He would have rushed for a buck 10 and 5. No, 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 no. We would have won the game because he wouldn't have been able to do all that up there in that snow like that. Oh, no. That wouldn't have happened. He was running. He was running, you right. Yeah, and we were stupid. We didn't have a spy. That's another story. Well, y'all did. Clay Matthews was just horrible. See, yeah, it was trash. My defense coordinator was trash as well. But my point overall is okay. Drew Brees only got one bowl. And it seemed like the media loved Drew Brees, so they don't give him the same kind of heat that they give Aaron Rodgers for having one bowl. But you know, it's it's a it's a little different for Drew. Right, why so? What you think? The whole New Orleans thing, the Katrina. I know. The rebuild, the winning, that's why I think they kind of, like, that Super Bowl almost equal, like, Brian winning for Cleveland. They love it. You know I what I mean? mean? <sighs> so I think that's why. But like I said, I wouldn't have them at a 90. Okay. My 93, 94. Um, I wouldn't have Rivers that high, though. No. Hey, what y'all got a problem with? Because I got some more issues on there, but I'm going to let y'all get I, mean, I got a couple. Okay. It, it's not necessarily the where they got them ready. Okay. It's, it, it's the placement. Okay, talk to me on that. The overall or the uh, over tight end. end? Oh, you got to smoke with these tight end positions. I got you. At the very least, Killer should be top three. You can't put Walker, Delaney Walker, above Killer. Did you not see what Killer did? I'm going to be honest, I did. But I got another brother that's a 49er fanatic. Okay. My boy Kiki. And he been telling me about this kid. For real, he say this man is not true. He the real deal. Kittle is that guy. He been saying that he better than Kelsey. I don't disagree. <laughs> you wouldn't. No, I no, bet no, you no. No, no disagreement. I think Kittle should be. He definitely should be above Delaney Walker because mm -hmm. Walker can't stay healthy neither. Right. He does get dinged. He, he gets injured, and the reason I know is because of fantasy football. Right. right. I know. That's right. That fantasy ain't you studying anymore. That, that's what I'm saying. Right. <laughs> Okay. And one more. Uh, I think my wife won't love this. <laughs> Ezekiel Elliott should be the number one running back. Joe! <laughs> Ezekiel no! Joe, so don't do it! He should be the number one running back. Zeke? Zeke. So you on that train? I don't, I don't buy it. I, I'm on it, man. With that line. That's a hell of a line. Okay, they got Gurley number one, right? Now, I got some question marks about it. Especially, okay. they got Gurley runaway number one. Like, he three points better. Okay. They got Todd Gurley as a 97. Zeke is the second highest rated running back. He's at a 94. So that means they it, they think it's some separation there. And, and it, ain't, it ain't that far like that. I can see that. I think Saquon down too low. I think Saquon better than Melvin Gordon. I think Saquon should be too. And Ty Gill at three. That would be my order. Hmm. I think Saquon might need to be one up in that mother. Wait, Saquon, hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Saquon did one. Wait. Saquon, look at that. It's time out. Saquon you just with told me with the QBs. You're right. One year. You're right. You're right. Okay. But I'm looking at one year from Mahomes when he had everything. He walked into quarterback heaven. He got a quarterback guru in Andy Reid. Right. Had the fact, arguably the fastest guy in the league in, in, in Hill. He had a running game. He got who they rate as the number one tight end. And uh, uh, whereas in comparison, right. Right. Saquon Barkley had a trash quarterback, a trash offensive line, and a deep and wide receiver. And still did numbers. That's what I was looking at like that. Okay. I, I guess. That's what I was looking at like that. Yeah. The hell of a point. You're right. It's right. still one year. Okay. And I still got to see, okay, is Saquon going to be durable? Of course, we're running back. You, don't, you never know what that. Especially, right. like you say, with fantasy football, I know a lot of guys jump out there and get, you know, him on the metal fence. A lot of guys jump out there and get, <laughs> a lot of guys jump out there and get the RBs quick. Yeah. But I be hesitant with that because I know the mother gonna get hurt. And so I like to play the waiver wire with, with See, the running back. I almost gave up. Uh, nah, I can't do it. One of your fantasy secrets? Yeah. I Joe, know. the people wanna okay. know, Joe. You gotta help somebody get some money. Running back first. This is a passing lead. Right. 
Go wide out. Somebody ain't gonna listen. Somebody go listen. QB. And then go running back. Right. That should be your order. Is that only PPR or what you what you looking at? In a standard league? Even a standard well, a standard league, you're gonna drop the quarterback a little bit. Cause the points drop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I mean, like I said, you now you got tight ends putting no wide receiver with no one stuff. Right. But you can't go running back first on. This not the days of LaDani and Thompson. Let's look over here at these wide receivers then. Real quick. I actually didn't have a problem because I was just happy that they put Hopkins at one. That's why I'm at with it. I'm glad that DeAndre Hopkins finally got the respect he deserves. I remember in fantasy football years ago, I was trying to tell my brothers about D Hop and they refused to trade with me. Now, I wasn't trying to trade D Hop because I devalued him. It's just I was stacked at the wide receiver position and I was trying to make a play on something else. But my brothers didn't like to do business with me because I'd be out the group like the boy Jay's play, like I said. They didn't want to do business with me. But I knew D Hop was coming because he was killing with trash quarterbacks. Absolutely. So I knew as soon as he got a serviceable quarterback, he was going to do something. Which brings me to this. Why in the world is Baker Mayfield already rated higher than Deshaun Watson fans? Okay? Everybody just on Baker. Now, yes, I know he can do the Dougie. I know he can do the whip. He can he name got name. He got rhythm. He got rhythm. He got some. He got some swag to him. You know what I'm talking about? More power to the brother. All right. But they got him ranked higher, rated higher than Deshaun Watson. They got him over Carson Wentz, who they telling me if he didn't get hurt the last few games, he would have been the MVP a couple years ago. That was that was told. He was on. He was on track. That, that, that was told. Track. Okay. They telling me he rated higher than Kirk Cousins. Who they just gave him how many millions of dollars? Hundred, hundred million? Yeah. Guaranteed. Million? Guaranteed. Guaranteed. All right, they very high on back. Matthew Stafford. Now, Matthew Stafford ain't won a big game yet, but Matthew Stafford put up some numbers. I know, because that joke was putting up some numbers. Yeah. Me and Matthew Stafford before. So, Bake. Lots of folks high on this man. Like, he right there behind Cam. They saying Cam Newton here and Bake right here. <laughs> Yeah, they got Ben Roethlisberger at 85. And they made it through 5,000 yards last year. Yeah. I don't know. It's rough, man. They, they might be factoring in some stuff. Some other stuff that ain't got to do with football. You think Maddie started factoring in all the field shit? I don't think so. Because, <laughs> I mean, that's, and I even went to a position, people probably didn't even look, middle linebacker. Okay. Chicago Bears got two middle linebackers in the top 15. How you get two middle linebackers in the top 15? Yeah, I mean, I ain't finna get, I ain't finna be able to move the ball at all this oh, year. No. We play them boys, my, not. my God. Yeah. Probably not. Probably not. But I'm saying that's the same position, right? <laughs> Only one person can play middle linebacker or they run a 3-4. Yeah, I think they run a 3-4. Cause see, they got Khalil Mack at the left outside linebacker. Okay. At a 99. So like they went a lot of deep, a lot of uh, real defense heavy. Because yeah. uh, Hopkins was the only 99 on the offensive side of the ball. Got Aaron, Aaron Donald's a stud. I got no problem yet with that. Mm -hmm. That man is a problem. He, he in the regular season. They hemmed him up. He ain't done nothing in the playoffs. He got a lot of attention, though. How many times you heard his name called in the Super Bowl? But you get so much, much attention. Do you think it's because you're getting double team, triple team, and the other guys ain't making plays off of that? So, you telling me it's possible that the Patriots double team or triple team them, and the Dominican Sue did nothing? It's possible, because you know Sue. Cause we, we, we thought Sue was going to be dumb. Now, you're right. He was for a second. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Until he started stepping on folks and all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's stupid. But uh, Don got no problem. Khalil Mack is a damn problem. By the wagon, still getting it done up there. So they went heavy with uh, defense at the top of the thing. Before they still love Luke Keekley. Luke, Luke just get all kind of love. JJ Watt still a, a 97. Okay, injuries? JJ Watt is a 97? Yeah, they got to drop JJ. I know J.J. Watt got all that, what he raised money, 
got water and did all right, that right, shit right. after the hurricane and so, shit like that. So they factoring in all that stuff. They got fuck you they got they, they not only look, just looking at speed and power no more. They looking at fundraising ability. They looking at how many homes you build for habitat for humanity. They looking at all this stuff on the man right now. Man, this is crazy. Oh, they are back from up here. They looking at how good your hair is. Yeah. How many endorsements you got? Come on, bro. Man, get this shit together. Quit disrespecting the bad man. That's what really got me hot. I know I talk about a lot of shit, but what really got me hot is y'all disrespect my quarterback. We gonna end this shit today.